What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Race. Are you guys ready for even more zombie adventures? Who are we going to meet in the next installment? Vampires? Mermaids? Will there be a wedding? More background on the werewolves? Are aliens coming back? Will we ever see the next generation of zombies? So many questions and so many theories that could only get explored in Zombies 4. Just a fair warning, Zombies 3 spoilers ahead. But you don't mind since you've seen the film a couple of times. Am I right? I know I did it. Anyways, our favorite couple is facing some new challenges in the latest installment of the Zombies franchise. A group of aliens arrives in Seabrook and everything turns upside down. The residents of Seabrook are ahead of new lectures about acceptance and discrimination. And while we all try to learn how to live in peace and harmony in the new film, some fans will say that the Zombies franchise has a repetitive plot. But but we don't think that's true. I mean, yeah, the entire franchise is about acceptance, so it's only natural that the characters will be faced with the same thing over and over again until they learn how to truly live in peace. After all, we as humans are still trying to learn how to live without discrimination and prejudice, right? Anyways, is this the end of the Zed and Addison story? Well, for now, yeah it is. Sadly, Lauren, the vice president of the original movies for Disney branded television, said that this is indeed the third and final installment of the popular franchise. He said, this more than a year ago, so things might have changed? Obviously, when Disney makes franchises, they tend to make three parts only. Take a look at the Descendants series. The third film serves as the ending, and Disney has no plans to change that. Sadly, the third Zombies installment doesn't end on a cliffhanger, which clearly means that the creators indeed ended the franchise with Zombies 3. But this doesn't mean that the movie gave answers to all of our questions. It's quite the opposite. The film left us with a couple of questions regarding Zed and Addison's future, the leader of the werewolves, and of course, we all wonder, what were Zed and Addison's college years like? I mean, did they stay together? Did they get married? Did they have kids now? Honestly, we hope for a different conclusion to their story, and we're not saying that the finale was bad, not at all, but the creators could have included a time jump in which we see Zed and Addison getting married at least. Don't you guys think it would be a good idea for a happy ending? Anyways, the third installment reveals Addison's identity, finally. We discover that Addison is not a human cheerleader, she's not a werewolf, she's an alien. You see, her grandmother fell in love with a human called Eli, and while she lived in Seabrook, she created the cheer-off trophy, the Seabrook Cup. And so the aliens are in Seabrook in order to find the coordinates for a planet which they call the perfect home. They assume that Addison's grandmother hid the coordinates in the Seabrook Cup. Addison wins the Seabrook Cup with her squad, but once the aliens look into it, no coordinates are found. A bit later, when the female lead reveals herself to be an alien, Addison's mother tells her that her grandmother always called her the most precious thing. And since the aliens are looking for coordinates that are supposedly hidden in the most precious thing in Seabrook, they realize that Addison's DNA contains the coordinates to Utopia. That's when the big plot twist comes. In order for the new group to go to Utopia, Addison has to go with them. Zed can't go with them because he wouldn't survive the space travel, and this is where we ask ourselves whether we'll see a happy Zedison ending. Anyways, the group of aliens realizes that Seabrook is indeed the perfect place to live in as Addison tells them. Sometimes you need conflict. Look what happened once we overcame our differences. Together, we made progress. Conflict isn't always bad. Being challenged sometimes pushes us to be better. The aliens change their minds and go back down to Seabrook to start their new lives. Zombies 3 ends on a happy note with cheer leaders, zombies, werewolves, aliens, and every other species living in harmony. The fan favorite couple is back together and the residents of Seabrook are celebrating their differences by accepting each other. It certainly feels like a happily ever after, with Zed being accepted into Mountain College which opens the door for the other zombies who are unable to apply to college. This does feel like the end of the franchise, but Milo Mannheim believes that the third film leaves space for continuation. Today. 
As previously said, nothing is confirmed and so far the third film is indeed the last one of the franchise, but in an interview with Hollywood Life, Milo Mannheim said, You know what, it leaves it open for a fourth, but it does a really good job of wrapping it up as well. And in an interview with Good Morning America, he explained, We're going to have to see about Zombies 4. We're going to have to see if you guys like Zombies 3, and then we can decide. We already mentioned this in some of our previous videos and we'll say it again. Disney knows to change its mind when it comes to a conclusion to a series of franchise. Zombies 3 is the first of the series to debut exclusively on Disney+, Plus, which could change things if the viewership numbers go well. It also depends on how well the film will go at the box office, so only time will tell if another film happens or not. Just like Milo said, it's up to fans whether another continuation happens. The thing is, we have another Zombies project to look forward to. Disney has revealed an animated TV show inspired by the series called Zombies. The reanimated series is in development. Although there are not many details released about it, we do know that the project will feature Zed, Addison, Eliza, Willa, and the entire Seabrook crew. This gang may have figured each other out, but they haven't quite figured out how to survive high school, the plot synopsis says. Get ready for more musical fun and new friends as Seabrook becomes the number one destination for all kinds of mythical monsters looking for a fresh start. And this means some pretty wild adventures, from the cafeteria to the football field, because sometimes the scariest things you have to face is in high school. This project will serve as a prequel to the film franchise, and you need to keep in mind that the cast won't appear as this will be an animation rather than a live action film or a direct continuation of the third movie. But if a direct continuation happens, what will it be about? Thankfully, the cast is all about making another film, and while that's the only thing that matters for now, all I have to do is convince Disney that this franchise deserves another installment. Meg Donnelly, the female lead of the trilogy, told J14 that she would love to see mermaids arriving in Seabrook in the next Zombies project. Chandler Kinney agrees that the franchise could go anywhere. Now with the addition of aliens, we can go as far as the entire galaxy. I think that there's room for growth, there's always room for new species, and there's always room for new stories. The actress told J14 shortly after the premiere of the third installment. Trevor Chorgwin told the outlet that he would love to see more character development in Bucky. See, we knew a time jump would have been a great conclusion. This way, we would have seen a grown-up version of Bucky. Luckily, the new cast additions are also interested in the idea of another film. Kyra, the actress who played Alien A. Lee, would love if the aliens returned in a potential Zombies 4. Matt Cornett, the high school musical star, said, I think it would be great seeing how the aliens have adapted to feeling welcome at Seabrook and feeling like Seabrook could be their home. Carla Jeffrey would also return if there was another part as she told J14. You don't even have to ask, I'll already be on set. Matt also reflected on the incredible experience of the third film and how he'd love to do another. She also said that you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. No seriously, the cast wants another part and we think it's just a matter of time till Disney greenlights one. We'll see you in the next video video.